The West Pier girls soccer team has had a lot of success in recent memory. They've won seven straight conference titles, but this year there's a change at the top. They have a new head coach, but he has the resume to help them continue their winning ways. Kaylee, if you go inside, it would be two on one, okay? Ever get confused for Ocho Cinco? All the time. Awesome. I, get, I got friends that call me Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with the former Bengals star wide receiver, Phantoms head coach Chad Johnson has amassed quite the resume. I was at UWGB for three years. From there, I ended up over at St. Norbert College. Um, I had stints with what's now called the Loons. Bayport High School is their girls coach. My last stint was with the uh, Green Bay Glory. Two years away from the game, looking to get back in it, Johnson gave now former Phantoms head coach Matt Ganson a call. He said, hey, are you looking for an assistant coach? I'm looking just to get back in and be the good cop, not the bad cop. Support the players on the bench. And he said, well, just so you know, I'm leaving. Why don't you put your name in an interview and I'll support you. So. Ganson had been around for many years, building a program that has sustained success. I personally was really sad. I loved him as a coach. Um, but yeah, I know he obviously had aspirations to do other things too, and he has a family. As sad as they were to see him go, a few games in, and they've been thrilled to play for Johnson. Chad is bringing a lot of new like perspective on the game and a lot of new like technique and just yeah, a good luck on the game as well. He's super intelligent, probably one of the smartest coaches I've ever met. He knows so much about the game that I've never seen. The team says his motto is something they bought into. Every practice we emphasize three things that we have to exercise. We have to exercise the brain, we have to exercise the heart, we have to exercise the feet. And if we could do those three things successfully and with intensity, uh, it's been a successful practice. For the new head coach, taking over a team that has many returning players and that has a tradition of winning made his transition seamless. Things were so well done in the past that you can kind of come in and let that river still flow, but yet alter its course a little bit, make some minor changes, get players to believe in themselves a little bit differently. And coming off that sectional final loss last year, we'll see if Johnson can get this team over the hump and into the state tournament. From West Pier High School, John Miller, NBC 26.